I'll just pull up here. All right, where am I? There I am. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. Welcome to day three of the four day challenge, empowerment challenge for women with ADHD. And I just found my glasses. <laughs> no, you guys are with me on that one. So tonight we're going to be talking about brain balancing and brain balancing is really working on the ability of your brain to work on the left side and the right side of the brain. So we're going to be doing two different things tonight. We're going to be doing alternate nostril breathing alternate nostril breathing. I actually could see myself out of the corner of the eye. I have to like move this around here. Um, <laughs> alternate nostril breathing is a balancing technique, a breathing technique that balances the left side and the right side. And it's super simple to do. Um, I'm going to show you first how to do it. And then we're going to do a bunch of rounds of that breathing. Okay. So you're going to be using your pincher fingers and you're going to be pinching like this. Okay. So like when you're pinching your nose closed, right? So you're going to be breathing through the left nostril, in through the left nostril, and you're gonna hold it. And then you're gonna exhale through the right nostril. Then you're gonna inhale through the right nostril. You're gonna hold it and you're gonna exhale through the left nostril, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna call it out each time. So you guys know we're gonna actually do 10 rounds of this. So that was one round, all right? So I always like to start, I take some essential oils. This bottle is practically empty, it's Valor. Um, I breathe it in a little bit. That was really good for um, courage and balancing. Makes sense, right? All right, so we're gonna breathe in through the left nostril. You're gonna pinch it, hold it, and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right nostril, hold it, exhale through the left. So that's one. Inhale through the left, hold it, exhale through the left. If you are just joining us and you're just popping on, just, just follow along. You can watch one round until we get to the next one and then you can just join us. So you can inhale through the right nostril, hold it, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, hold it, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, Hold it, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold it, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold that side down, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold it. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold it. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold it. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold it. Exhale through the left. Couple more. Inhale through the left. Hold it. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold it. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold it. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, hold it, exhale through the left. Last one. Inhale through the left, hold it, exhale through the right. 
inhale through the right, hold it, and exhale through the left. You can release your hand and just take a deep breath. I feel pretty good. I don't know about you guys with me. How are we doing in here? All right. <sighs> Always feels so good when I do that. All right, so now that I'm so mellow, <laughs> we're gonna move on to EFT. So if you're catching this on the replay, definitely type in replay um, and let us know how that actually felt for you. Now, if you are watching us on the replay, you might wanna just do the alternate nostril breathing and then come back later and do the EFT. That's an option too, because it may seem like a lot, all right? All right, so we're gonna be doing EFT and EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. It's basically like acupuncture for emotions. So you're tapping on different meridian points on the body. And what that does is actually helps to block, unblock any stuck energy. So whatever you're working on or just general like, you know, information about yourself, it's, we're gonna do it in a call and response fashion. Obviously you can't respond back to me, but I will know that you're responding back to me. Um, and we're gonna be tapping on different spots. I'm gonna show you the areas first, and then we're gonna do um, a round of what we call the negative, and then actually two rounds of negative and two rounds of positive. And I have no idea what's gonna come out of my mouth. So it's probably either what's going on for me or what's going on for the collective energy of this group. All right, so I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink. Okay, so here we go. So now this is the thing. I'm gonna say a bunch of things and if it's not really resonating with you and you just wanna say your own stuff, totally cool. Because in the future, when you do this, you are gonna be able to do it on your own. Um, all right, so here we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you. So in your workbook, you have the picture of the spots, but I didn't feel like we needed any slides for tonight. It was just, just me, okay? So I'm gonna show you the spots. Okay, so this is the first spot. I'm just checking, make sure we're good here. Okay, this is the first spot. So the karate chop point. And you can use two fingers or three fingers. I generally use three fingers here and then two everywhere else, I think. I was noticing earlier today. And I like to do this in the shower. Tapping in the shower is my favorite. Okay, so here's the karate chop point. Here's the inner eye point, outer eye. And you're tapping about two, three, four times-ish. Under the eye, one, two, three. Under the nose, four times, five times. Chin. Collarbone, which is your clavicle, so over here. And under the arm. You could do the same arm, but it's easier just to do the other arm, okay? All right, so one more time. Karate chop. Oh, and sorry, top of the head, sorry. Okay, karate chop, inner eye, outer eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, clavicle, under the arm, top of the head, okay? All right, so here we go. Even though I feel all over the place, I fully love and accept myself. And you just repeat after me. I'll leave time after I speak for you guys to say it out loud to yourselves. Even though I feel all over the place, I fully love and accept myself. Even though I feel all over the place, I fully love and accept myself. Even though I feel all over the place, I fully love and accept myself. Sometimes I just feel way too distracted. I can't seem to focus on anything. I feel totally disorganized. I'm constantly losing my things, like my glasses. <laughs> I can feel so frustrated. I feel so emotional. So many emotions. So many emotions. Sometimes I would just feel fidgety. 
I feel so restless. I can't seem to get everything done. I'm so unproductive. Why is it so hard? Why am I all over the place? So frustrating sometimes. So frustrating. Okay, so you're gonna take a deep breath. See, my iPad is wanting to stop because I'm out of time on screen time. Okay, so then we're gonna go through a round or two of a positive, okay? So when you do the next round, the positive, you don't do the karate chop point. You just start off right on the eye. I'm so creative. I have boundless energy. I think different and that's okay. My brain works differently. I'm multi-talented. I have so many ideas. So many ideas. So many thoughts. So many thoughts. I can speed through things. I become so passionate. I'm so enthusiastic. My mind is quick. I'm awesome. We're awesome. That's good. All right. So that is EFT. I hope you guys feel good. Today's probably my favorite day out of all the days. Um, Tomorrow is probably the most important, but today is my favorite. I love to do these kind of things. There's so many different um, active meditations almost, even, even though those aren't meditations. Um, I feel like for the ADHD brain, it's really good to have both. Uh, meditation is super important, could be really helpful for us, helping us be mindful and not, you know, rest, race through things and be impulsive, but active, like awake, conscious type of activities like EFT and alternate nostril breathings. And there's so many other different um, breathing techniques and things that we can do. So those are two of my favorites. And I wanted to share them with you for the brain balancing day. Um, and that's all I got. I know I told you that some days being fast, some, some days might. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit longer because we got a lot of material to cover. But I hope that um, you guys can, you know, use this video over and over again if you want to use it. Like I said, I like to do EFT in the shower because it's a quiet space and I just, I can get it done really quickly. Um, and you can say anything. It doesn't even have to be about ADHD. It could be about like something that you're feeling, you know, stuck on. Um, it could be anything that, you know, there's like... Um, if you go on YouTube, there's lots of videos on EFT, but people like use EFT for abundance and all kinds of things. So um, like if you're going to do like um, something that you like are nervous about, you can like tap on being nervous about it. There's just so many unlimited um, possibilities when it comes to the EFT. So again, uh, thank you guys. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are talking about nutrition, including supplements that can be great for our brains. And I definitely think that you guys should check out tomorrow, make sure that you see tomorrow, whether it's live or on the replay, because it is probably the most important um, out of the four days. All right. So you guys have an awesome night and I will see you tomorrow.